fruit cocktail. <laughs> Okay. Right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, we have some new faces, or at least new faces to me. So, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Kyle Welch, and I'm the market director for Filterquick. And today we are very excited and very honored to have Mr. Bradley, Mr. Brad himself, from Minnesota Health Systems uh, for our first demonstration of 2018 Market Awards. So let's give them a big hand. <laughs> These gentlemen, I believe this is their third year uh, coming down to do this. Does that sound right? Yeah. Uh, third year, right? You came with Travis one year. Um, so it's, uh, they do a fantastic job. It's very informative. It's very enjoying. So I'm going to turn it over to them here in a minute. Uh, but just one quick word on Market Awareness Month and kind of why we do it. There's really a lot of reasons for doing it. Um, one of it is, is to obviously show appreciation to our clients and to thank them, uh, spend some time with them. Really the main goal of Market Awareness Month is for all of our staff here at Preferred Credit to gain a little bit more knowledge about the products that we finance. Our belief has always been that the more that all of us know about the products, the more confidently we can all do our jobs. And whether that is a uh, CCOR agent, if you're processing a zip, or you're uh, verifying with a consumer, or if you're a customer service agent that might have to speak with a customer, whether they're past you or not, the more you know about the product, the more confidence you can then relate to those customers. The more that they trust us, the more that they're gonna trust our clients. And we know that the more that that happens, the better they're gonna perform. And that's better for us, it's better for them, and it's obviously better for the clients. So that's really kind of the main goal of Market Awareness Month. So with that said, I'm going to turn it over to these two gentlemen and uh, enjoy their show. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Tom. All right. Um, um, my name is Ryan Lee again. And first off, I just want to thank everybody for the partnership that we have. Um, you guys uh, are a huge part of our, our growth plan for the next uh two to five years, and uh, because of you guys, uh, we're gonna take it to the next level. So we appreciate every one of you, and this is really special for us to be able to be invited here every year. Um, it's nice to put the faces uh, to the voices when we talk to a huge variety of you. Does uh, who in the room actually works directly with Filter Queen only? So, you know, so. <laughs> All right, so a lot of you guys uh, don't know much about us, so this, this should be really good. Um, who got to see our show last year? Okay, so a hand, handful of you. So um, make sure everybody takes really lengthy notes. We're doing a quiz at the end. Okay, well, I know you said mentioned you wanted to do that. Um, but without further ado, um, we're going to get this started. Um, first off, we'd like to talk about, so you guys are on the same page, on how we procure our leads and how, and how we get um, our product to be demonstrated inside of the home. Um, we have a variety of different lead programs that we have um, to get our representatives in the home. Um, one of our most common one is um, a referral program. Somebody sees or, or, or likes our product and they're going to refer us to another person and so on. We don't uh, per se knock on doors. We always go to a home on invitation only. So we have a, a date and a time. Um, so when we, we show up at somebody's home, they're expecting us. Um, they know they have to take a look at some products. And that's, I think, the relationship that we start with the customer starts off on the right foot there. And that's uh, one positive thing uh, we'd like to share. Brad, anything else to add to that? So they're either calling us or we're calling them. So signing up at home shows, doing surveys with people over the phone, door surveys, questionnaires, <coughs> flyers that are mailed directly to them. So some is outbound that we're approaching them, and sometimes the customer is approaching us. Or be, because the company's been around a long time, we do have people that get referred to us or they um, look us up on the internet or something like that as well. Okay. So we'll start out first uh, with our uh, Defender. Okay, just a quick little background on the Filter Queen headquarters. They're located in uh, Ohio. They actually just moved headquarters into the old Hallmark Cards plant. So right next to the airport there. So that was a 2018, I think it's happening like it just happened or it's happening like within the next couple of weeks after they're transitioning over there. So it's a US made product and uh, assembled there. But if you were here for the last demo, you might have noticed the machine looked a little bit differently. So we're really proud and happy to introduce the 90th anniversary uh, Filter Queen Defender. The change on the Defender from the last model to this one is just the change in the sticker. 
Okay, the stiff ender has been out since 1997. This model um, has been, and there's been very few changes with it because it's really effective, energy efficient, and it works. And that's kind of the biggest thing to it. So it's really simple. It pulls air from 360 all the way around and it goes through the filters and it comes out these four patented exhaust ports. You might have seen other filters. Who here has ran an air filter in their home before? Thought of running an air filter? Kind of crazy, you don't really think about it, but who here has dusted in their house before? <laughs> you know, when you do that, you do it once a, life, once a week for the rest of your life. Or you can just get a machine that you put in the middle of your house that helps eliminate the dusting, the pet hair, the dander. This also eliminates uh, airborne type illnesses. Uh, coughs, colds, flus, viruses of that sort. I'm sure people here have uh, sick kids right now, right, Kyle? Okay. <laughs> Running a defender in the air, so it, it pulls that stuff out. But it runs it through the filter just to give you a quick look at. It. And it's really easy to take apart; doesn't need any tools. The base, protective guard to keep the cats out of it. And then really the nuts and bolts of this machine here. It's, there's two filters inside. The first one's a charcoal activated carbon filter. Uh, charcoal is used to purify water, um, take different smells and stuff out. This is activated charcoal. It will run out the activation with about six months. So at that point, it really just acts as a pre-filter. So one of the things we do at Minnesota Health Systems is we actually call every one of our customers within the first three months and let them know that this is going to need to be changed out every six months as well and give them reminders for that. So this right here, if you want to just give it a little touch, pass it around. The inner filter is made out of 43 square feet of a doctor's mask. So if I was to cut this right here and grab one side and pull it, I could walk out that door. And it's pretty amazing every time. But the outside of this is going to get dark, dirty, and nasty. The inside stays hospital white, showing you what. It's working, right? Who here changes their furnace filters? Okay? And you, you pull them out, and what, it's dirty on what? Both sides. Showing you what? The dirty air is just going through just it, right? Through it. So a lot of times people think putting a better furnace filter in is going to make their furnace operate better, but really it's trying to keep the dust out of the furnace, and it actually suffocates by doing that. So um, after this filter here is good for a minimum of one year, running 24 hours a day in the worst case environments. So if you're smoking or have pets like that, um, it's not going to magically jump through doors, windows, or walls. So if it's running in your living room, it's not going to magically clean your bedroom in the back room. So it's a room air cleaner. So we, we tell most customers if you want the best filter cleaning experience, Put one in the living room and one where you sleep, and then if, you, if you're able to, have one to move around the house. Ideally, you'd put one in every occupied bedroom, and then where you spend your most time. Where did that outer wrap go to? Is it passing oh. around there? Actually, we can go without it. Put that back on here. The motor is really energy efficient. It runs off 1 20th of a horsepower. It's a brushless motor. It goes right back there. Like I said, no tools to put it back apart. It has vertical alignment, so you're not going to get that shakiness over time. It's high, high impact ABS material. So right now the machine's running on low. Pretty quiet. Something you can sleep with. More of an active setting. I think the one back there by the door is running on, is it on low or medium? Medium. Okay, so if you want to turn that down to, to low, so it's a little quieter back there. This is more of the active time to get, you're cleaning the house, you're in and out. If it's not sitting in front of you and you're looking at it, it's a really effective setting. The last one's the emergency setting or the uh, Katie's cooking setting, <laughs> which means you're burning food. You kick it up on high, five, five, ten minutes, it'll clear out a room going through there. Um, you can run it on this setting all the time. Say you're running it down in your basement by your furnace, uh, in your sick kid's room when you're not in there, you can shut the door, filter it out. Um, it's not going to overheat or anything like that go through there. But because of the noise, most people run it on the set it and forget it setting. Quiet. It is also programmable, so you can actually program the setting when you're working to kick up on medium or high, work a little bit harder, then kick back down so you don't have to go back through here. The warranty on this machine, it comes with a two-year unconditional factory warranty, so if anything breaks in the first two years, we'll fix it for free. After two years, if, as long as you're replacing that inner white filter, the cost of the filter is about 100 bucks to replace once a year, it renews the warranty for another year. So what that means, it actually has a lifetime warranty as long as you're taking care of it and changing the filters out. Referring back to your furnace, if you didn't change out your furnace filters, probably going to avoid the warranty in your furnace as well. Okay, so one, at this point when we're showing the customers we have, we call a Dylos air tester. You might see other companies use these or different things. What it is, it takes a particle count of the air quality inside their home. Because a lot of times you're in there and you just get used to it. And going in and out of lots of different homes, you can walk into a house and you're like, holy cow. Have you ever walked into your friend's house? 
<laughs> or your grandma's house, you're like, <laughs> smells like dead skin. Or how about a nursing home? <laughs> Okay, just think of the stuff that's in the air that you're breathing that you can't see. We can't really pick up that stuff, but this particle count here, actually, you'd multiply the number by a thousand to give you a particle count of a starting point. Uh, a couple years ago, when this new room was new, we were talking to Kyle earlier, this number was 50. Okay, now just the starting point is 235. It shows you that people have been out of here, it's a little bit dirtier. So what we do is we'd actually take this in any room with the door inside the house, we would put the defender in there, turn it on high, and show them the difference it can make in the air quality in that room, just a factual number, a starting point, within a half an hour it's going to end at this. And you can show them, go back minute by minute on a monitor mode here, Oops, minute history, and you can show them minute history, each minute, one minute ago, two minutes ago, the difference it would have in that room, so the customer, they can smell, taste, feel the difference, and then they have that fact and proof there as well, the stuff coming out through that. So that would be our defender. Do you call customers when that filter is about to explain? Yep, and we'll, we can go through some questions too um, at the end and kind of go through that and, and talk to you about what we do for follow-up. Our second machine here is called the Majestic. This has been around since 1928. Uh, a couple major changes they've made with this with the 2018 90th edition is they put a different uh, cord on it. This cord, because it, it's more durable for like cold weather environments and different things, um, it's, it's easier to go through there. And if you go right back to the wall here, even the end of this right here, do you guys see, ever seen a cord like that on the end? They think about every little detail besides the filter clean symbol on it. <laughs> but when it goes into the wall when you're cleaning, instead of the cord popping out when you're going a different direction, it stays in the wall. You ever been vacuuming and all of a sudden something pops out? Same type of thing. Plug that back in for me. Okay, this machine here will filter down to the identical same level as the Defender. It'll filter down to 99.99% at 0.1 micron. All French to me, like okay, that's small, it must be good. It's actually three times smaller than a standard HEPA filter. Who here has heard of a HEPA filter? Right? It's on the what vacuum? And you? Eris, Kirby, they always talk about it. It will filter down three times power. This was actually kind of designed as an air filter, first and foremost. It can be ran as an air filter. So just breaking it apart, just a couple of basic pieces. The wheels on the bottom, it's the same material as a bowling ball. You can scratch hardwood floors. Um, you can see that it's made in the US, and you can see the quality of something like this as well. Okay, the stuff comes through one isolated spot. This is all stainless steel, so it's not going to rust or tarnish. A couple other changes they made. This inlet used to be made out of a chrome type material, and these clamps, now they're all completely stainless steel. Not as pretty looking, but lasts a lot longer. This first filter in here, same type of material that's inside the Defender filter. Not 43 square feet, right? Just a couple square feet. So it won't last a year, it'll last one month. Katie, every month you change this out. <laughs> inside that sits a charcoal activated cone. Just like the other ones, this would sit right here. Because it gets dark, dirty, and nasty on the outside, the inside of this right here stays what color? My favorite word, hospital white. I don't know, it just sounds really cool. So this filter here actually doesn't get dirty. But this filter is also good for six months, taking out the, the smells, the different things that go through there, and then acting as an air purifier. So this is on right here. This bucket right here will hold two and a half gallons, 14 pounds of dirt. And all you need to do when you fill this up, go outside, set this filter aside, because it's good for six months, dump this into your garbage, grab a new filter, set it right back on here, and you're back for 14 more pounds of dirt. And if you live at a place like Kyle's, I'm sure 14 pounds of dirt happens once a month, right? <laughs> when Molly's cleaning. Okay. If you do forget to put the filter back in here, there is a, a secondary filter, a flat filter. It protects the motor in case you do that. I have forgot to do that as well. Going back together. So the stuff goes through here. It runs the cone-shaped filter. It self-cleans itself, unlike different machines out there. It goes through here. And then the clean air would come out through the top right here. If I put this on here, what it does, it muffles out the sound and it comes through this batting on the outside. I'm going to show you here in a second, you can actually put some different scents on the back end. There's a felt pad here. You can spray some water-based scents on here, so the clean air coming out can add a scent to it. There's other types of machines that they put it by the dirty stuff, and then there's just the good smell comes out and not the, the bad mildewy smell. Okay, so it goes through here, and you can actually turn it on. This is running on low. A little bit louder than the other machine. But you can set that in the middle of a room and you can clean the air going through there. Some people just get the Majestic and at the time they don't have the ability to invest in the Defenders where they can actually run this in their house once a day and just clean up the air and go through there. 
or you can put the cap on it right here, go to the side. The high setting, this is Aaron Walter. The first one I have here is eucalyptus. Who here uses uh, mixed vapor rub? Lather up your hands, put it on here, go on the poker in here. This here is basically the same stuff that's in there, except you don't have to put it on your body, it just goes right into the air. For each minute you run with this, it'll send the air to the out. So if you got six kids and six kids and stuff like that, I'm just gonna put it on here so I can put it inside the same So we just put it right on this tent net. So if I'm running this inside my house, every minute it runs, I put it in the room, the kids' room for five, ten minutes, it's gonna stay in the air all night so I can actually break up the sauce and pull it through here. And it's that clean air that's coming up. Who here buys candles? How much are they normally? And you actually grab the whole wrong one at Walmart, like I just recently did. It was like 30 bucks for one little candle. We just thought about it. So they have a whole aisle, but some of them are five, but then they magically put like the $30 ones mixed in. So the <laughs> website grab this candle, I bring it home, and I look at the bill, and I'm like, are you kidding me? It was $30? I could buy like 10 bottles of these. Okay? Um, just to show you a secondary scent. This here is a lavender. We have like strawberry, mulberry, island breeze, different things as well. You notice your home kind of takes on the smell of your home. You really don't notice that most of the time though because it's your smell. And that smell comes from like your dead skin. Okay, this is a way to freshen it up if you have people coming through there instead of having uh, candles burning. Which I, I tell you the candle story, but my dog just jumped on our table because there's food up there and lit its tail on fire. And luckily we were home. It's true, honest to God story. The dog's tail got lit on fire by a candle. And you just think of how many little things like that can happen. So this here is the lavender smell. It's the old lady smell. And Greg would probably really like this one. And so would Candace. Okay. But this can be used as an air purifier. And this is filtering the same level as the Defender that would freshen in the air, pull the stuff out run it through here, and then that clean fresh air would come back out through there. This machine right out of the box comes with a five-year unconditional warranty. It's covered top to bottom. If something breaks, we fix it. If we can't fix it, we're going to replace it for them. So that's a really cool thing. And then we, we'll talk about this more at the end of the filter programs and stuff. There's also a way, just like if you're ordering filters directly through this, to have this it be a lifetime warranty as well, which means anything breaks on it the rest of your life, you pay for it. Okay, cool. Um, so you can sort of see the combination, guys, of of um, the whole idea with the filter queen system is to be able to attack by air and then to attack by land. You look at all the pollution that builds up inside of our homes right now, normally is, is floating around the air because everyone raises their hand when they dust and the, the rest of the stuff is in our carpet. So now we use tools to remove those things. So what are some tools that we use to clean our homes right now? Swifter. Swifter. Vacuum. Vacuum cleaners. Okay. Rooms. Dusters. Dusters, okay. Mop and bucket. Mop and bucket, yeah, <laughs> all, all the tools. So what you've seen so far on, on the Majestic, you've seen that it's an air filter. You've seen that it's a medicator. You've seen that it's a deodorizer, with that charcoal kills the deodorizer. And you've seen it that it's an air freshener. Before we even get to the coolest part of the Majestic, we got four machines all built in one. So when people buy our stuff, they can trade in multiple things. They can trade in their air filters that they have HEPA. Well, one HEPA is equivalent to this. Uh, uh, three HEPAs is equivalent to this, so ours is three times better. Then we have air fresheners, so we take in candles, we take in um, uh, Lysol, we take in all kinds of different spray bottles, um, we take in um, Swifters, brooms, dustpans, anything like that, because now we can compact into a, a one small, smaller unit instead of having ten different machines, we can, we can do it into just one. So very versatile machine. So someone had mentioned, mentioned vacuums, and one strange thing about vacuums, it doesn't matter where you are, if you're using a vacuum, you can smell it. Right? Think about it. And if you can smell a vacuum, what odor and how is that odor in the air for us to smell if the vacuum is picking it up? What could it possibly be? How could we smell it? It's kicking it back into the air. Right. So it, must be, it has to be picking it up and then dispersing it for us to breathe or for us to smell. All right, so um, this is where it gets a little bit challenging to explain to some people because they've been using a vacuum their whole entire life. And so when we show the filter queen experience, it's like, all right, so we have to teach like, guys, there's another way than vacuuming. I mean, you go to a, a restaurant, you go to a hospital, you go to a casino, you go to, if they're using a vacuum, you can smell it. 
which is, which is very, very unhealthy. So think of what Filter Queen did. They took an air filter first, right? Okay, and then we're going to slap a, an extension on it. So what comes in stays in the air filter. All right, so one of the biggest culprits is that smell and odor for this. So this is our seven foot, seven and a half foot electrical extension. Very high quality, guys. Um, we like to tie it in a knot and do a little tug of war. So where's the strongest person in here? All right, so we'll do a, we'll do a, a little tug of war here. Just go ahead and pull pull you up. And you can see the durability of this, and very very. If you feel the, the strength of that, oh yeah. See so all that? And there's other competitors that are out there, you guys. The, the hoses are very very weak and nimble, which means they they can clog, or you'll have problems down the road. Keep in mind, we make a lifetime product. We're carrying lifetime warranties. They better last a long time, right? Um, so back to the vacuum talk. When you guys bought your most recent vacuum that you have, what is the one thing that made you buy that one? The color. Color? <laughs> right? I mean, nice and filled it with the color change. So you look more. Right? We went down the aisle. What, what made you go from the $50 one, $200, $250, $500? Good suction. What was it? Did I hear the S word? Suction. Good suction, right? You, uh, think, of, think of the infomercial we've seen. What is Auric picking up? Bowling ball, right? Because there's so much suction. suction. There's even one that's picking up a refrigerator. Have you guys seen that one? <laughs> that informational? I mean, there's so much suction, it's, it's pretty darn impressive. Um, but what, I'm going to show you a little bit, guys, of the difference between uh, what we call suction and what we call airflow. So for this, I'll, I'll need a couple different tools and a couple different volunteers. First off, all right, so I'll have you put this on your hand for me. Okay, nice and flat. Okay, put that on yours. So all I want you to do is let me know if this leaves your hand, okay? You're going to feel a little bit of that suction that we call. Just let me know if it has left your hand. You can still hear a rattle in there. So why, why wouldn't that pick that up? Feel off. Okay, what if we took something like, like a lighter marble? But there's so much suction. I mean, look, 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 look I lift this whole, his whole body up. <laughs> so much suction. Okay, so it really, guys, it doesn't matter if it's that heavy bolt like that, or it's just even a speck of sand, or a white piece of cloth, that, or like a string you've seen on the carpet before, you've gone over it a few times, you're like, what the heck, why isn't it picking up? It's right on the surface. This is, this is the difference, this is where uh, airflow and suction. So now what we'll do, and let me know what leaves this time. You feel the suction, but you let the sun in there, and it's just right in the machine. Same thing as this, still there until we let some air in the machine. Brandon had shown the difference of what our machine can do. Is in here, it hit that, you can see in there, there's a deflector shield that's there. We have another patented design there. It's a deflector shield that's there. So what comes in isn't going to just damage the filters, or, or because that's what makes the machine is the filters or or hurt your, your motor. So um, the next thing, hold on to this for me. Or actually, no, I'll have you hold on to the machine for me. The good braces off. Hopefully, you can win this one. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to have you turn it on high, and then I hope. Do, does PCI provide life insurance policies? <laughs> okay. Um, just sort of turn it to the side. Last time we'll go, we'll go, go through the back. But uh, go ahead and turn that on high. Okay. And again, no suction, but check what the durability is going. We'll shoot this in at 100 miles an hour. And again, think of any type of machine that you're using at your home right now to clean. And what would happen if you shot something like that through it? You'd be in the hospital. I mean, let's be honest, guys. All right, it would not be very pretty. Any marbles that are still stuck? So you'll you'll open this up, guys. All the filters are safe and sound. There's no damage, anything, and you'll find find that the pollution is right in here. So in addition to that deflector shield protecting everything, I'll just leave the one filter in there for now. We'll also show 
side of the canister and the reason think of a washing machine guys after the spin cycle what's happening to clothes where are they on the outside of the washing okay and why, why is that a good idea what if they are wrapped around the middle of it <coughs> we probably have some problems so again it keeps it away from the filters to maintain what we're talking about next is our airflow okay Brian if you want to show the menu back there All right, when you buy a new vacuum, it works really good, right? Okay, it's, you, you go there, it works really good. Or you change the bag, that's when it works most efficiently. How often should you change your bags or clean the filters inside your machine? After every use. Every, every You're use or, to. or every room. Or a lot of times the bags or filters will say frequently, <coughs> often, or regularly. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, it's in the same, you know, same area. But you buy a new machine and it has everything to do inside it. And then it kind of slowly works less and less. And stuff gets clogged up and then you just go buy a new one eventually. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you is, is there's two main types of machines that we talk to customers about and it's, one's a bag type machine and the other one is what? Bagless. Bagless, kind of easy. But the bagless ones, they have like a flat filter. Raise your hand if you have a Dyson or a Shark. Don't be scared, it's okay. Okay, <laughs> so in a Dyson or a Shark, there's somewhere in there, there's a flat filter that the stuff has to go through. You ever clean them out, it gets really dirty, shake them off, the sponge and the, the Shark. Who here has like a, a bag vacuum, like a Kirby or a Hoover, something like that? It has an outer bag, right? Mm -hmm. And then an inner bag, okay? And you change that inner bag every once in a while, and then you change that outer bag every six to 12 months because that has to breathe as well. <laughs> I, I guess, then you know where you're getting the vacuum smells from, okay? But they have to, it has to breathe, because otherwise, why wouldn't we just put a plastic bag on it? There it goes up. Pretty big explosion. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to replicate just a normal flat filter or a bag. Basically what I'm replicating is the stuff has to directly go through it. Just like your vacuum bag, it puffs up and it has to shoot out the sides to let that airflow go through. The dirt and dust is going to follow the path of the airflow. So it goes through the bottom, goes through, it ends up in the bag or the flat filter, which is this right here. And I got a brand new one. So I put a new bag on this. And I'm just going to put this on the end here. Okay, we get a new bag on there. Everything's good. We got lots of suction. Okay. Gives me a hickey. This gets a little emotional here. So if you take this right here, I'm just going to fold it in half just like that. Pull it from the top. I got to really tight. Don't let go. You're going to see I have that airflow. See, I can pull it in no problem. Don't let go. So if I have airflow, that means I have that cleaning bag. I'm just going to take this for it. So right now I have that. I can pull it in no problem. Okay? Suction, airflow. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit of cleaning here. Back and forth a couple of times. You hear the machine working a little bit harder? Okay. It'll never lose suction, just like the commercial says. They always talk about suction, suction, suction. But if you hold this back up here, what do you do? What do you notice? It's not pulling it in there anymore, is it? So just a little bit of cleaning, just replicating a mini back, but what happens, it starts to lose that airflow. I may mean, not have lost all of it, but a good portion of it. And that's where Mr. Lee Ryan was talking about these little strands on your carpet, and you go over them and you can't get them up. And then you pick them up and put them in your pocket. <laughs> I still have suction, but I haven't lost my airflow. So what actually happened? Did I completely fill up this whole entire hose? Or is it just what? It's a filter. It's a filter. There's some little fine dirt dust in here. I don't know who the cleaning crew here is, but... Okay, and this is the stuff that would, would go through, and just a little bit of that would clog the outer part of your bag. And you can see that going through here, just a couple of sweat. And this is the stuff that gets kicked back up, and that's where the vacuum smell comes from. Okay, that isn't the worst part. You can see, if I hold this up against something white, there was to be the exhaust of that bag. And that's what you're smelling. And this is what you're smelling. So after just having that go through there, you can see the stuff that would come back up. Is this healthy or unhealthy? And just a simple thing of going through here is it's not filtering it out. So, do we want to do the baking stuff right now or do we want to wait and do, it, do that after? I'll just go through here quick. Let's show you the difference here. The difference is, is when you're majestic here, you're going to have that stuff in, you're going to have the airflow. 
and you're going to be able to clean and go through here and continue to go through, and you're still going to have this airflow. I'm going to show you guys at the end how much stuff you can put in this and still maintain the airflow. And if a lot of you remember, it deals with toilet paper and baking soda. Okay? Anyone remember that from last year? Okay? It's pretty impressive how much it takes. So I'd have to clean this whole entire room on my hands and knees all the way down the hallway to, to get this thing to even think about clogged up. But why that's happening is the cone-shaped filter is it's cleaning. It's not trying to shoot it directly through a flat filter or push it out of a bag. Okay. All right, so what does it actually take to cause the Majest to lose that cleaning ability, which is called airflow? All right, because we can see that the suction is maintained on all vacuums. I mean, you can even see a Kirby, the carpet is literally lifting up. You're pulling, you can pull dirt from the basement. There's so much suction. But the problem lies is once we get, how long would it take on any bag vacuum or flat filter to get a coating like this on the inside of the bag? Five minutes, but that bag stays in for how long? Month, two month, or you know how however the use, but all it takes. So for that first month, you're, you're you're or for that first five minutes, absolutely you picked up some stuff. But after that small coating comes across, it's like mowing the grass with no blades on the mower. I mean, you're making the movements, but think 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 of the process that's going on. It's like using a dustpan with holes in it, right? It'd be the same exact thing. So that's anything with the bag. It has has holes to release. So what if the bag's still full? And that's the interesting thing that, that comes across, guys. If the bag ends up still being full, feel the bag. Look at what's actually inside the bag. I know it would be pretty gross. Or look what's inside of your Shark or Dyson container. Is it rock salt like sugar, like all the sand and dirt and things? Or is it fluffy? Fluffy. It's fluffy because you're buying your carpet by the yard and throwing it away by the pound. You know, think about it. It's, it's, and, it, and if you are getting rock solid, then yeah, I guess it is maintaining its air for a little bit. But then you need to ask yourself, well, am I smelling it? Or is it going airborne? Am I dusting more than once a month? I mean, wouldn't it be cool to dust every three months? Dusting's a pain in the butt. And that's where the, we tack by land, we tack by air. And that's where the fil why everyone's going with the filter quiz. Pretty, pretty cool. So let's take a look and see um, some of the other tools that come with um, filter queen does offer other tools, but it's, it's as an as-need basis. So right here is the crown. Every queen deserves a crown. Label here. Um, but they, they really took and thought about, when we use the tools, they thought about what tools are actually being used. There's a lot of companies that have like 20 or 15 other tools that come with it, but are they actually being used? We take trade-ins all the time in different machines, and the tools themselves are like brand new, if they're still on the machine. Who has a machine at home that has lost their tools? Okay, one or two, or eventually you're like, I don't know where they are. I mean, the one's chewed up by the dog, before you know it. All we're using our, our vacuum cleaners for is to do one thing, and that's to clean our carpets. Perfect. That's right, so look at all the different machines we've seen so far. We've got the Medicaid, the air freshener, the air deodorizer, the air purifier, and then now we're looking at, at some cleaning systems here. So um, you saw this tool, guys, that works really good. <coughs> okay. um, the upholstery tool here, guys, everything you're going to see is made of the same thing that football and hockey helmets are. It's a high ABS, ABS material, but they're designed to keep the airflow constant. So if you're going to pass those around, you can see that on these, there's these rubber little gaskets. So when you put it on, it maintains airflow, okay, so we can still maintain that cleaning ability. Nothing leaks out or squirts out in the air. Um, one of the the, the tool that were, that's the upholstery tool, and that tool would be used for anything upholstery or drapes or anything like that we would clean. Think of common everyday things that get used. That's what we want to use these machines for. Um, this next one right here is our hardwood floor tool. We talked about the different tools that are used to clean our hardwood floor tool. Does anyone actually use their their uh, their vacuum to clean their hardwood floors currently? No. Some people do. Okay. And if you're using it and you feel Sand or stuff, going bare feet, try it. Sand kicking out, that's not, you're chasing dirt more so than cleaning it. All right? Um, other things is just the different height adjustments of floors, because you can go from carpet to linoleum, back up to tile, Berber, shag, whatever it may, a rug. All these things change, so you need to, you need to have a machine that's going to adapt to that. But this is my favorite tool. This, this is used three times a day in my home. I have three kids and a wife who, who hates dust and dirt. All right, so 
the way this is used is just to replace the broom in a dustpan. So you're no longer sweeping or chasing dirt around. Okay, you're actually picking it up and it's going inside of a air filter. Okay, pretty cool tool there. Next I'm going to show you the power head. So this can actually be hooked right onto the end of the extension here. So you can actually use this to vacuum a mattress, use it on furniture, use it in the car, the boat. Um, and go through here. So I turn it on by hooking this right in right here that supplies power all the way through here. It'll just turn it on right here. This is soft enough I can run my hand on it. If I put too much pressure, it cuts itself off. So if you catch like a sock or a rug or anything like that, it's just a reset switch here on the back. So it goes right back on. So it's wood, so you don't get any static. It has an enclosed Kevlar belt, so it's not going to wear or break over time. The belts are designed to last an extremely long time. Going through here. But it, it self adjusts to all levels of flooring. So it has a little natural angle right here. So it's, it doesn't matter if it's thicker carpet, thin carpet, bare floors, you can adjust that to every different level there. So as far as going through there, you can also throw on a stainless steel extension. So all these different attachments are just a click away from here onto here. So you can actually stand to get around the outside of the house, or you can turn around and just your ceiling fans up high without having to go through. So every one of these attachments have, has a little home on the top right here where you can just slide them right on there. So as you're cleaning, you can start on one area of the house, push your way all the way across to the other one. Since I'm right here and we got the tool so close by, you can also throw this on the exhaust right here where the fresh cleaner is coming out. And you can do it two different ways. You can turn it on like this and blow hot air out of it actually hang this in your uh, chest freezer and let the hot air go through and defrost. Or you can throw, turn it into a blower that you could use in the garage. So that you can floor the deck going through here. You can feel the power that we have go through there. Or you can just blow that stuff out. But it's fresh clean air coming out. You don't have to fire up the gas floor or anything of that sort. Do we want to show them the... Ooh, like samples? Yeah. So a lot of different companies will just go in like an in-home presentation and just try to embarrass people with how dirty their home or environment is. It doesn't matter if you're a bachelor that cleans once a month or Ryan's wife who cleans three times a day. If you go to clean, you just want to clean something that's going to be easy to use, work, and not make it dirtier than, than before. So one of the things that we'll show people is we actually, this is a new dust scope that we have. If you've seen the old one, it's a lot smaller. It's just make it to give it a visual of what would go in the machine. It doesn't change the way the machine works. It's not on, it doesn't replace the bag. It doesn't go through, it just adds a clear extension onto what would be going inside the Majestic there. And this does not come with it, guys. This is just a, an added tool for the demonstration so we can show the customer if there's anything that the vacuum has left behind. So what's the cleaning schedule that takes place here at PCI? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. 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 Oh. We will this room. Yeah, Always. So we're just going to clean this a couple areas right here, just back and forth. And you can see how easy it runs. So it pretty much puts itself. Pretty light, isn't it? So one of the things, if you can actually just pull the machine behind you and you don't have to worry about looking at it to go through here. So you get it It runs this way at pretty much any, any type of carpet. So we'll just do a little bit of cleaning to show them what, what is here. And by just going through you, take that sample, and this is something you can get rid of. And if this was your home, some people might be a little bit embarrassed or they had just cleaned. And they're like, holy cow, it's still that dirty. Well, it just shows what's getting left behind. And the difference with the Majestic here is it's going to go on the machine and you're going to remove it from the environment and not put it back on the machine. You know, it changes the color. Look at this pretty dirty. You guys can see see what this is consisting of. 
Okay, you're gonna have your sand and gravel and all the things, but those are, a, a piece of sand is what makes glass. Okay, so very, very, I don't know how many, hundred some edges on a piece of sand. So you're gonna see, this is where that carpet it starts to end up being cut away over time, and you see the wear and tear paths when you look at whether it's an office building or your home. <coughs> so you can see right here, you get a little bit of red. <coughs> It's because that's what airflow is designed to do. It's, it's able to pick, pick, a, uh, pick up everything that was left behind. Um, so very powerful. But I have to ask you guys, if, who has kids in here? Or I'll ask you. If you had a choice uh, to bring your kid to a playground, okay? And this playground, this playground was, <laughs> this, this playground was $3 a day to play on, and this playground was free. Which playground would you bring your kids to? Yeah, excellent choice. <laughs> but think about it in the winter, where's our playground? Right on the carpet, right in our living room. Okay, and that's obviously, guys, a minor commitment to make it affordable for the customer at the end. It's a very small monthly commitment for a cleaner, healthier home. Okay. Yep. Now last, guys, this is, the, this is the best part. And this is something that we just show to prove to you guys, I'm like, all right, well, can the Majestic, Majestic ever lose airflow or cleaning ability? Um, we should see, well, we will see. Okay, so what were the, what were the four main parts that we need to clean? Or the four, the four main parts of a vacuum, guys? See if we're paying attention. Suction. No, the parts. No parts. <laughs> I shouldn't have started. <laughs> Remember, we had our motor, bay, intake and exhaust. Okay, we didn't, we didn't grind that in as well as we But what I want to show you guys is that when we start with the Majestic, we want to make sure that we have good suction. Okay, obviously we have good suction. Get sort of emotional. Okay. We'll do stop to the corner. and all the filters to keep everything aside so by the time you start cleaning to the time you end it maintains the best possible cleaning ability that you can have.
I'm going to have to clean this up, so. <laughs> You guys now see why everyone's going with the filter going? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that con concludes our presentation, guys, of the greatest machine ever built. Okay? <laughs> and uh, you guys are going to see a lot of other presentations this month. I know, I know that, guys, but what we, what we like to say is that we buy a machine, we're caring about the, mach the, the dirt that it picks up, not what it leaves behind. Right? So we don't care what's inside someone's machine. We care what's left in the carpet, and that's what, what our tests are do. And this is a really good example to show, man, that can hold a lot. And then top it off, nothing came out of the exhaust. Did anyone smell anything? Okay. Um, Let us yeah. talk about the filter program that we offer. So a couple things that is really nice with, with the PCI follow call, what do you guys call them? The correct river? The, the courtesy call? The courtesy call that you guys do with the customers to make sure that they get everything up front. And you might hear some... So really small things that they didn't get this or that added to it. And that, that really helps us because that's our, our really our first contact with them after the sale. And then one month down the road, they get a thank you letter from our company um, for investing in our products and tell them we're going to take care of them for life. And all of our machines have an, our 800 number right on the back of them with a filter discount on it as well. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll put a little flyer in there and we'll follow up with them about two, three, four months after their purchase and remind them that the charcoal wraps need to be changed, the charcoal cone would be changed at six months, and give them some different options. What, we, what uh, Ryan's wife, does, Brooke, does is she runs our, our service and filter department. She has set up a program that people can pay a small amount monthly to have their filters automatically shipped for them for the year. And what she offers, if they sign up right away, they actually get a free filter pack to, to start this program. So if you do that program, it actually extends the warranty of your machine for life. So after the five years of this machine, after the two years of this machine, it literally is an ongoing lifetime guarantee that if anything breaks, we'll fix it for free. Um, so we, we have that, we, we have people that enroll just to pay once a year. They set the date that they would change once a year. The filters are automatically charged to their credit card, automatically shipped to their doorstep with instructions on how to do that. Um, we do have service technicians that um, they can drop machines off if something breaks on them, or we actually go to people's houses and fix them on the spot, or pick them up and drop them off as well. So we really pride ourselves in taking care of the customer after the fact. Um, we have three different gals that just call current customers and make sure that they're, they're happy and everything's logged in there. So a really cool program for aftercare that we go through um, with all of our customers. Um, so a couple calls that people might get is, how do I order filters? There's a sticker on every machine. I don't know who to call. There's a sticker on every machine. Really, really easy stuff from there. Um, but yeah, that's a, a really nice thing. Good questions. Do you want to talk about the new model? Yeah, the difference. There's a couple of different features. Brandon had mentioned the new cord, guys. That's on this. A lot, lot more durable. Um, doesn't get tangled or, or wear, worn down over time. Again, lifetime product. They did put. If you guys notice the symbol on, the, on, the, on this bucket here, it's called Microbe X. Okay, Microbe X is an additive that they put into the, the mold oops, the mold of the plastic. So when they made this, they put that in there. What Microbe X does is going to help us kill any type of bacteria or germs or anything that are lingering in there. Okay, so again, the whole, whole idea is to eliminate bacteria, germs, dust, and things. This is other actual stats that can be on here. And then they, they converted everything to stainless steel. So some really minor changes, but they were worked on this microbe X. It was not thousands, but I believe millions of dollars to get it to take care of over a 10-year period. So it was a huge, huge, huge step for Filter Queen to be able to market this and to say that it kills the growth of micro bacteria and stuff like that inside the machine. It's on the, on the coating on the filter and the coating on the actual pollution container itself. So it won't build up like mold in it? Nope, so like other things that can get mold if you, you know, if you have water or dampness, you can get that mold or the mold spells if they don't uh, sterilize it, dry it, do different things. You can dump the bucket out and, and know that it's going to kill that, that mold or bacteria and stuff inside there. How much is the dependent? <coughs> hundred bucks a month, no. <laughs> we, we retail these for $14.99. 
And if, just like anything else with insurance or other things, if you bundle, you save. Okay, if people are using our financing pro program with BCI here, you know, based on how you guys know credit decisions and stuff go to as well, we base that. But it's, it's we have a, a little window for someone writing a check versus someone financing it, but we generally try to show the financing end first because it's a really affordable monthly investment plan for anybody. And we already had a $3 a day commitment out of you, so the 99 bucks a month or the 90 bucks a month, I know that you can afford both of these machines. Better be a good part. <laughs> so the, these ones here, we, we sell together as a package. If they, if they buy it when we do the in-home presentation, if they get the Majestic, which is $30.98, we give them a Defender free. So this package that you see right here is $30.98, <coughs> which is, through PCI, 100 bucks a month. Think about it, guys. What is, the, what is this package protecting? Your yep, your home, your health, and your family. Can you think of any other than those three that are more important to you right now in your life? And you're, if you're using a $100 or $200 or $500 vacuum to protect the three most important things, it just doesn't add up. Another example would this be your refrigerator. Your refrigerator goes out today, you go buy a new one when? Today. Today, okay. And what does the refrigerator protect? Your ketchup. Our grapes and ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> right? We'll drop two grand on a new refrigerator, protects grapes and ketchup. What will we drop to protect our home, health, and family? Okay, so the price has to range to what it's protecting. Okay, so for $39.98, you divide that by two, it's $14.99 a piece. What is isn't $1,000 today? New iPhone X, how much is that? $1,200. $1, Washer, dryer, stove, refrigerator, everything's $1,000. $1,000, $1,000. But the Majestic, it does the clean air as well. Yes, yeah. So. The Defender's a passive machine, runs 24 hours a day, you know, because you breathe 24 hours a day so you can run your bedroom. You know, you know, not everyone pulls out the Majestic three times a day, like the leads. But if you pull it out <laughs> twice a week, you can <laughs> go through there, but it's gonna eliminate the dusting, pull the bacteria, the viruses, germs out of the air while going through there. And then the other thing of going back to your price question, is the best part about this is the only thing we have to expect is the price one time and we never have to apologize for poor performance, poor service, a machine that's not going to work. And that's why even when they do finance it over a three, four, five year period, the machines are, are, are there, they're warranty. If something breaks, we're fixing it for free. And there's no questions asked on, on any of that. So you look at the rest of your lifetime, you can buy a two, three hundred dollar vacuum and replace it once or twice a year or once or every other year. Mm -hmm. You're going to spend the same amount over time. And you're still going to dust once a week. <laughs> Greg, any questions on your fifth demo? <laughs> no, I think we got it. <laughs> I have a question. So, did you always did, did you always have the Defender? Nineteen ninety-seven. Okay. Nineteen twenty-eight for the Majestic surface cleaner, um, and then nineteen ninety-seven for the okay. Defender air cleaner. Do you ever have customers complain about like the air getting too dry or anything like that because of these things working? That's a that's a good question. Um, it's just t typically it's air movement that's going around. So certainly not in the summer months where we're looking for air movement because in basements, especially in Minnesota, it gets moist. So we need some air movement down there just to keep it. And if anything mold does start to form, that's going to catch it. But in the winter. I, I noticed no problem. A lot of homes today too have air exchangers that do help with the humidity control. So combined with an air air exchanger and our machine, uh, we don't get too many complaints at all on that. Especially with the low setting option. Any final questions for Ryan or Ryan? <coughs> <coughs> you, you mentioned home shows. How many do you guys get to? I mean, I can't imagine a lot. Of okay. Yeah, you know, surprisingly, there's quite quite a few. You have your main big ones, like the Home and Boat Show, the Builder Home and Builder Show. Um, we try to do 15 a year, okay, so one a month, and then a couple other ones. So we're in a wedding show that this, this weekend. Um, we have a women's rock show in April, the Home and Builder Show in um, February and April, boat show. We just did the ice fishing show, two, two ice fishing shows. Give away an eye on auger for that. People sign up to win the auger. Yeah, surprisingly, guys, there's, there is a lot of shows. Arts and crafts, pet shows, uh, wedding shows. Uh, seeing that um, the, the, the different, um, when you put it on low, it's pretty quiet. How effective is that opposed to 
the high, high because I know you say turn it up high do on the day yeah, that's, you're not there. It's a really good question. We actually normally bring that up. Yep. So low will turn the, the room over about every 20 minutes, so about three times an hour in a normal size room. The medium will do about every 10 minutes, so about six times an hour, and then high will do about every five minutes. So if you take a normal size room, on this, this low center here, it should turn this whole room over. Just think of a ceiling <coughs> fan, how it barely moves, right. and it can really move the air in the room. So three times an hour on, on low, six times on medium, and 12 times on high, mm -hmm. on average. But every house is set up a little different with airflow and stuff, but on average, that's what it should be around. We don't like to say square footage of cleaning ability, guys, because <coughs> it's just, so it can't clean out the hallway with that door closed. two of them going in no, a room of this size? Be effective cleaning of them Oh, one would do do the trick. Okay. Yeah. How is it on the power consumption when it's running all the time? Yeah, that's that's a good question as well. This is uh, 9.2 amps. Um, the Defender is 120th horsepower, so on that low setting, it's uh, was it 25, 40? 27. Yeah. So it's like a it's like like a 30 watt light bulb running on low. So. So it's extremely energy efficient on that. You, most people never notice a difference. You can run three of them, and it might cost you five bucks a month. They're working on the energy efficient part of it. It's just that high doesn't hit it. So in order to be energy efficient, all levels need to hit. But when you're nobody, or not many people running on high constantly, so otherwise we'd have the energy energy efficient stuff. You mentioned boat shows. Does that mean it Suck up water and things like that as well. Like, could you use it to clean up nails or hardwood floors? You mentioned a couple shows that um, that you represented in. Yeah, uh, obviously question. you have the bullet to suck up uh, as well. So does it do okay with that? <coughs> anything other than moisture, guys? It, it it does does a job. Okay. So, <clears throat> it, it, one one thing we forgot to mention was the if it does suck up something it's not supposed to, other than water, or, like it actually gets full. I mean, I've had the red, there's a emergency red light that automatically shuts it down for five minutes. It's a thermal sensor that shuts it off so it doesn't ruin your investment or ruin anything else. Um, so a lot of contractors will use our, use our stuff. The same thing, sheetrock dust is a good example of that fine powder. Mm -hmm. And if it ever would reach that point, we've had it come on one time when a customer asked us, uh, one of their kids had sprayed a fire extinguisher in the closet. So just, <laughs> 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 and, uh, the rep, you know, uh, he's like, well, if you can clean that, that mess up because nothing else can, y'all buy it today. He's like, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mows down this whole pile. Totally, totally, the whole pile disappears. Red light comes on. You know, the rep's brand new. He's like, oh, man, I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> but he oh, oh, forgot about it. Like, no, man, I just everything did. You're good. Breathe. A few breaths. <laughs> uh, the red light came on. Wait five minutes. Empty it. Wait five minutes. Temperature cooled down. Right back. Running. You say it doesn't suck up water? No, we, we wouldn't do the water with that. Okay. So what happens if you, like, you know, say you're doing your hardwood in the kitchen and you accidentally go over some water? That little stuff, same with the winter, you know, you got rugs that get wet. It's very, I mean, we're talking <clears throat> if... Like it won't replace your wet bag. Yes, yeah, you're, you wouldn't, you know, you're doing the dishes, you look away your kids like, oh. <laughs> you know, I mean, just water. <laughs> we're gonna have some trouble. Right? Time going over a damp. Bro. You gotta be fine because like putting it inside there is some stuff inside there already just like here There's the baking soda putting some moisture in with the baking soda. It's not gonna wreck the filters And it's really putting water in with that doctor's mask type filter It can handle some moisture, but you're not gonna put a bottle of water inside of it And I know there's competitors guys that use water Okay, and so we had to make that same decision too So even with the competitors that use water the way we look at it There's no such thing as a clean or a fast way to clean there's prep, water fill, using it. At the end, you just, there's no, you know, with, with the filter queens always plugged in, our, our kids spilled their syrup, good to go. You know, we got dust over here with, with other machines. If you gotta fill water in and out, there's a prep, actually using it, and then a deep prep. Great questions, everybody. Um, so, you guys learned a lot today? Yes. Yes. And like you said at the beginning, remember that's that's really the key. So if you are on a verify with a customer of Ryan or any of the other folks, then you can say, just saw it down. If you are working with a customer that might be past due or has a question, you can just say, I just saw it down. We're never going to say anything to a consumer that's not true, but 
by relaying that information that you saw that, that's going to put those customers at ease and they build trust. That's why we do those things. So, uh, on behalf of all of us here at Ryan and Brandon, thank you so much for doing this. <laughs> We obviously appreciate you guys coming down. We appreciate